Hey there, Louis here. In this video, I am going to be providing you with a quick preview of the new Microsoft Teams desktop application. Now, Microsoft just released a redesigned version of the MS Teams desktop app, and they claim that it's up to 50% faster than the previous version. Now, the app is currently available in the public preview program. If you've not opted into the public preview program, you will have to do that in order to get access to the new Microsoft Teams desktop app. Now, I do have a tutorial showing you how you can opt into the public preview program. I've included a link to that tutorial in the description below, or you can go ahead and just click that card and then watch that video after you finish watching this one. Let's go ahead and let's dive in. Now, once you've opted into the public preview program, you want to click into your more options button and you want to run your check for updates. Once that's done, you will see this toggle here that says try the new Microsoft Teams desktop application. And you can see here the tool tip that reads a faster, fresher Teams is ready for you. Now to access the new version, you want to toggle this on and you can see here that it is going to open now, at a glance, you'll notice that this app does not look dramatically different than the existing Teams application. Now, there are some subtle changes. You'll notice here the backward and forward buttons have been moved closer to the search bar. And if I click through some of the other areas of Teams, now one of the notable differences is now in channels in the post tab, conversations are actually going to be displayed at the top and they are going to display from the most recent channel posts to the older channel posts, and they will always be forced at the top of the screen. Now, what's really cool in this new version is Microsoft has added the ability to pop out channel post conversations. So you can see here, I was able to right click on this channel post and I have this option that says pop out conversation. If I go ahead and click on this, I can actually pop out channel posts into their own window, just like I can do with other apps and chats. So this again, isn't a significant change, but it is one that will likely allow for a little bit more seamless switching between tasks in your workflow. Now, the rest of the changes that are available in the new Microsoft Team app are rather minor and most of them are cosmetic. Now, the new app does leverage the fluid components, which give this app the more modern appearance. Now that includes rounded edges on a lot of the different app components. And the other notable feature that is currently available is the ability to be logged into multiple Microsoft tenants and to receive all of your notifications across all of your different tenants directly in the app. In the past, you had to switch between tenants and those notifications would kind of be segregated. That is no longer the case. Now, Microsoft also promised that they were going to be launching Copilot, which is their new artificial intelligence platform that is integrated in Microsoft Teams. Based on my preliminary testing, I did not see this feature available in the app right now, but I am sure that Microsoft is going to be pushing that out in this new build at some point. All right, now I wanted to put Microsoft's claim that the new Microsoft Teams desktop app is up to 50% faster to the test. So we're gonna go ahead and do a boot test where we boot the old version of the desktop app up and we'll time how long it takes and then we'll do the same thing for the new version and we'll see how much faster the new Microsoft Teams app is compared to the old version. All right, now I am going to open the Microsoft Teams desktop application, and then I'm going to start this timer and we will test out for ourselves how long it takes for the classic Teams app to open. So let's go ahead and let's start this here. So it took about five and a half seconds for the existing Microsoft Teams app to open. Now I will go ahead and switch over to the new and improved Microsoft Teams desktop app and we will go ahead and run the same test. All right, so I will go ahead and click on my Teams icon and there is going to be a prompt. So I'm going to click on keep using new Teams and then I'll start the timer. And you can see here that that took 
just about three and a half to four seconds. So the difference in opening the old version and the new version isn't as substantially different as Microsoft claims, but this is indeed faster. So there you have it. In this video, I gave you a quick preview of the new Microsoft Teams desktop application that was just launched in public preview. I hope you found this video informative. If you did, you know the drill. Please hit that thumbs up below and be sure to subscribe to stay up to date on the latest tutorials that I publish. I'm Louis Yacobelis. Thanks for stopping by. Talk soon.